Välkommen alla sammen. How did the Vikings become Christian? This is a video I can make a two hour long angry rant about, but I'm just breaking it down in a quick video going over the sources, uh, breaking it up into three events over the span of the late Viking Age. First, when did the first kings become Christian? Second, when did the people officially become Christian, but not really? And then three, when did the people actually become Christian? And, and this is something that even the historians don't cover like this, and at the end of the video I'll explain why this all happened, and that's probably gonna piss some people off. If you guys are interested in the sources uh, on this, um, like I said, the uh, Heimskringla is the one that goes into most detail. That's kind of the, the sagas that had to do with the kings and the laws and the uh, organization of the big picture of uh, the Viking Age. But there are other sources that I will go over to in this video and I'll list them all up here and put them below in the description if you're interested in getting them. So first, when did the first kings become Christian in Viking Age Scandinavia? So we can say uh, probably the first willing king was Håkon the Good, uh, a Norwegian king, and he was actually fostered away to the English king Athelstan and raised by him. Uh, Håkon was raised Christian growing up in England, but he comes back to Norway and uh, people accepted Håkon even though he was a Christian because he really was a good man. Uh, Håkon did try to force some of uh, the Norwegians to accept Christianity with no luck though, so Norway was really all pagan at this time even though their king was Christian. Let's fast forward a few years to Denmark um, in their first Christian king. That was Harald Bluetooth. The sources say some different things on this. The Norse sources and the sagas say that he lost a battle to the Holy Roman Emperor Otto and was forced to convert. I did a video on that. But Saxon and Danish chronicles say that it was actually Harald Bluetooth who willingly converted after being friends with a Saxon uh, bishop. We don't know, but we do. We can say for sure that Harald Bluetooth was Christian. Some history books will even say that all of Denmark was Christianized, but that's definitely not true. Uh, Harald Bluetooth's son, Svein Forkbeard, aligned himself with the pagan chieftains, and he won the hearts of the Danish people and forcefully took the throne back from his father. Father Hyo Bluetooth. Uh, so that's the first event, and one thing to remember just because a king is Christian does not mean the people are. Uh, that brings us to event number two when the people officially became Christian, or should I say, forced to become Christian. Uh, specifically, this happened with the two King Olavs of the Viking Age, Olav Tryggvason and Olav the Saint. They couldn't get that many people to convert willingly, so they waged war and stole and tortured and took hostages from anyone who didn't want to convert to Christianity. But this didn't end up well for them either. They were only kings for a few years before the people revolted and killed them. Uh, but right around this time, right around the year 1000, that's what's written in the history books as the time Norway became Christian uh, according to law. At least everybody was supposed to be uh, Christian because paganism was at that point illegal in Norway and the territories, the Orkneys, Faroe Islands, Iceland, uh, things like that. In Denmark... Uh, Svein Forkbeard at this time was king, and he was most likely pagan too, but he was soon to be the ruler of all Scandinavia and was even king of all England, so he definitely had to make public appearance as a Christian, and he and the most powerful chieftains around agreed to be baptized just to avoid uh, uh, invasion from the Romans, uh, but people in Scandinavia all over kept their religious freedom for some time. Uh, Sweden, on the other hand, was still 100% pagan. Uh, all their leaders in Norway and Denmark at least uh, were Christian, but Sweden uh, was definitely all pagan. There was really no uh, Christian influence there at the time. And this brings us to our third event. When did the actual people of Scandinavia start to accept Christianity, and when did it start to become the majority? Uh, well... Let's start with Denmark and Norway first. Uh, Denmark, they had some really cool kings. Svein Forkbeard, Knut the Great, Halfa Knut. They were all openly Christian kings uh, of Denmark and they were kings of all England at some points. But these kings 
were very kind and tolerant. They did not force Christianity on their people with violence like the Norwegian leaders did. So it, it definitely does seem like the Danes accepted Christianity the soonest um, because we don't see a lot of pagan things going on in Denmark after uh, the year 1000. So the majority probably in the early 1000s of Denmark became uh, Christian. Norway, on the other hand, had some horrible kings who used violence and laws to force Christianity on their people. Just like Danes today are given much more freedom, uh, while leaders in Norway think it's the coolest and funnest thing in the world to control their people in every way possible. You see, when you force people to do things, they're not going to do it. But if you give people their freedom and use understanding and education, they are more likely to accept new ideas, religions, culture, uh, way of life, uh, laws, regulation, even a certain, you know, medical treatment. <laughs> I know you guys can see the parallels to today. Norway was forced to become Christian, so that's why they fought and held on to paganism longer. Denmark was not forced, they just kind of decided to go into Christianity themselves because they were more integrated with Europe and it ended up being their decision and a good decision to do at the time for the country. So for Denmark, probably pretty soon after the year 1000, they were a majority Christian. Norway in the late 1000s. We find pagan practices going on a lot longer in Norway uh, and so Norway slowly slowly became more Christian after Olav the Saint was killed at the Battle of Stiklestad but it was probably the late 1000s like I said when Christianity became the majority but still we have lots of evidence that paganism was going on a lot longer than that. Uh, Sweden that was a little different. They remained pagan the longest. In the late 1000s, they were still doing pagan festivals, having pagan sacrifices right in the open at a major temple at Uppsala, and it definitely seems at that time as though Christians were the minority at the time. But eventually Sweden Christianized too. Uh, probably in the early uh, 1100s, Christianity became the majority religion there, but we still see the same thing. Pagan practices became very illegal, but people were doing them anyway for hundreds of years later in Sweden and Norway, not so much Denmark, at least we don't have a, uh, a lot of evidence for that. So that is the story of when and how the Vikings became Christian. Now to speak about why. Look, you can't convert a people who truly believe and understand their native religion. They will fight to the death to keep it alive, and even if they don't, you can't get them to stop believing and teaching their children uh, these things. Um, the Viking Age was a time where people were losing their spirituality and understanding, more importantly, of their religion. A lot of sagas in the late Viking Age mention how people, uh, especially warriors, were asked if they were Christian or pagan, and they just say, yeah, they didn't follow either. They, they weren't that religious. In the early Viking Age, people were strongly devout pagans. We have many sources for this, and of course, before the Viking Age, even more in the Vendel period, the Germanic tribal period, uh, Bronze Age. But in the late Viking Age, people lost the understanding of our native religion, and also they didn't care that much, just like uh, people today. And when that happens, they just accept the new religion of Christianity because everyone else was doing it and it was going to be easier for relations around Europe and trade. And again, this happened slowly, slowly. But it did happen, and it's happened everywhere in the world pretty much that monotheism pushed out the native religion. So if you want to know the truth about how Scandinavia became Christian, it was the late Viking Age... At the time, probably only 10% of the population who were the royalty and nobles who were actually devout Christians. And then 10% of the people who were devout pagans and would never give it up. But you have 80% of regular people in the middle here that just didn't give a shit. It's, just, it's like today, most people aren't that spiritual and that's totally fine. Everybody needs to go through life themselves and decide what they want to believe in and what they value and if they want to look for these certain uh, spiritual answers to their questions. But um, yep, yeah, that is the story of how the Vikings became Christian. Vi ses nästa gång.